Good evening, everyone. I'm Natalie Patterson with NJ.com. It has been a historic day here in New Jersey and across our country as the 2020 election is, of course, in full swing. Voters are still submitting their ballots as we speak. Of course, the question on everyone's mind tonight is what can we expect next? Karen Price Muller joins us. She's been writing extensively on the subject. You've probably heard her talk a lot about the mail-in ballots as well. Karen, just in terms of today, how did how did we do today across the state at the polling the, locations? Yeah, for the most part, I mean, everything seemed to have gone relatively smoothly. There were a couple of places where um, poll stations didn't open right away, but the, the big thing is the mail-in ballots. And as of two o'clock today, we had 3.7 million mail-in ballots accepted. Now this did not include mail-in ballots that were dropped off at the poll. It did not include provisional ballots from people who decided to cast their vote in person. So it's just, it's a huge, huge number. It's 57% of the people who are eligible to vote just from this election. I mean, I find that number really impressive. Is it as impressive as it sounds? Well, look at it this way. When you compare it to 2016, we are already at, and I'm going to get the number, not 100%, 94.1 of where we were in 2016 in terms of turnout. So and almost 95% of turnout that, from 2016. Yeah, and that doesn't count the provisional ballots cast today. It doesn't count the mail-in ballots handed to poll workers. So if you, you know, if we had those numbers, they're not releasing those numbers now, but it, it looks to me like we're well beyond 2016 in terms of turnout. Wow, that's great. When is the earliest that we could know the results of the presidential election? All right, so this is where it gets complicated and a lot of it is gonna depend. In New Jersey, our polls close at eight o'clock. Across the East Coast, you've got some polls closing at seven, some polls closing at eight. In terms of the presidential election, what all the pundits and the pollsters have been looking at are a couple of really key states, and that's going to determine who eventually reaches 270 electoral votes. Florida, we're going to start hearing, you know, on the early end tonight. And if Florida goes to Biden, many of the polls are saying that he has a good chance of winning the whole thing. If Florida does not go to Biden, if it goes to Trump, then it's going to entail waiting for more states to give their results. So it's complicated. And, you know, Pennsylvania, our neighbors, this state may be one of the, the big ones. Now, Florida, the reason we're going to, why we are expected to have results tonight is because they've been able to count all their early votes through this time. Pennsylvania weren't, was not able to count anything before election day. So the state had never done a widespread absentee ballot program before. It's just going to take them a lot more time to count. But what I want everyone to keep in mind, just because it takes longer doesn't mean it's wrong or fraudulent or that there's a problem. If you guys remember way back in um, 2000, Bush versus Gore, it was more than five weeks before all the votes were counted, but we had a president at the end of the process. And it, and it happens like that for Senate races, House races, contested races. It's not uncommon. It was even in 2016, Trump did not know that he had won Arizona and another state until a few days later because it took more time to count the votes. So in this race, how will the race be called? So it, it, a lot of it's going to depend on the margins and again on these specific states. So what the the analysts are looking at are a combination of, you know, what the margin is of votes that were able to be counted early versus the states that had to wait before starting to count. So it's it sort of it's just all going to be math. But there's actually a you know a process. The the networks, for example, newspapers aren't just going to come out and suddenly call something without having data to back it up. So do you want to get into how how that will work? Well, I think what I would want to know, Karen, is, is this the way it has always worked or is this how it's working for the 2020 elections? And so much is different. Is this the way it's always been? You know, it's basically, yes, the way that it's always been. What But what's changed is more early voting and more mail-in ballots. And those things just take time. And again, it depends on each state's rules. It's, you know, so in New Jersey, we were able to start counting ballots as early as October 24th. Fantastic. 
But again, a state like Pennsylvania has to wait until today. So obviously, and they've had massive turnout also with um, mail-in voting and absentee voting. So it, it's just going to take more time. But every election official I've spoken to says it doesn't mean something's wrong. It just takes time. Absolutely. And I'm looking down, guys. I'm, I'm monitoring comments. If you have a question, you can drop it in the comments. We'll get to as many as we can. But thank you for those of you who are sending in your questions so far. Uh, folks also asking, when are we going to hear on New Jersey's ballot questions? I see people asking, when can we expect to hear about legalizing marijuana for personal use in New Jersey? So I expect that a lot of those numbers are going to come in sooner than, say, what we're going to learn about the presidential election in the whole country. So the reason why, again, New Jersey has been able to start counting ballots early and polls close at eight o'clock. But I also want to mention that if you happen to be in line at eight o'clock or online for a ballot box at eight o'clock, you will still be able to vote. You know, they will stay open as long as it takes to get everybody through the through the queue. But sometime after eight o'clock, the counties are going to start giving their preliminary counts. And that's really going to be mail in ballots that were handed in prior to today. Maybe some mail in ballots that were handed in today. It will not count the provisional ballots yet. They're not allowed to count those until at the earliest, November 10th at 8 p.m. And the reason is because they have to count the mail in ballots first. And the county election officials can accept mail-in ballots that are properly postmarked up until November 10th at 8 p.m. So forget about November 10th for a minute. If we've already had such huge numbers of voters come in, when the counties start to announce their preliminary numbers, everyone's going to take a look and say, okay, what are the margins? How many votes are in? How many votes are they announcing? How many votes are we still waiting to come in? Because look, we've sent out more than 6 million ballots not everyone's going to vote. Some of those people would have been late mail-in, you know, handing in their, their mail-in ballots late. So the analysts are just basically going to look at the numbers. And if it turns out that whether it's marijuana or even for a particular candidate, if somebody already has a huge number, a huge percentage of the votes, and there are only X number of potential votes to come in, then they would be able to call a race. Others will have to wait a little longer. Karen, I'm seeing a lot more people have joined this Q&A. Thank you for joining us, uh, getting great questions. If you like this and you want to see more things like this live Q&A session, please consider subscribing at nj.com backslash supporter. But Karen, I see a lot of people still saying, when are we going to know about the presidential race? So maybe to simplify that, is it going to be election day, election week, election month? How long it might depends. we have to wait? It depends. It depends. What what um, poll watchers and pundits and analysts are saying, if we see Florida tonight go for Biden, which maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It's a very, very close race because Florida has been able to count its early ballots all this time. Everyone's saying what we hear from Florida tonight, seven, eight o'clock is going to be more accurate than some other states that haven't been able to count large numbers of ballots yet. So I don't know when we're gonna know. I'd be lying if I said we know. But what they're saying is that if Biden wins Florida, it's good for Biden. And we may learn other East Coast results earlier on. If Florida goes for Trump, we may have to wait longer for other time zones to bring in enough electoral votes for him to win. So I wish I had an answer, but <laughs> Polls have been wrong before. We saw what happened in 2016. Trump's victory was a surprise. I don't right. know. What's been easy about 2020? So I feel like the election is very on brand with 2020. You know, it's complicated. Exactly. It's, and, and that's really the best. I mean, it's the perfect conversation. <laughs> 2020 is complicated. Um, let's talk about who's counting these ballots. Are, are people counting these ballots, the machines? Yeah, so, it, so it's it's technically the machines that are counting the ballots and the people who are working in the election offices are preparing the ballots for the count. So what happens when a ballot comes in, they register that it's come in, they scan it, and then they take a look at the signatures. And if there's any question on the signatures, those ballots will go before, in most counties, two Republicans, two Democrats who are part of the Board of Elections who will decide, is this a good signature or do we have questions about the signature? If there are questions that ballot gets set aside and they move on with the rest of the signatures they have to check. But when then they come back to it within 24 hours, they will contact the voter to say, hey, we had a question about your signature. 
Some people forget to sign. Some people it's a mismatch. So they just want to make sure that it's good. They will notify you within 24 hours and then they will mail you what's called a cure letter. And this letter allows you to attest that yes, I'm who I say I am. Yes, my signature is good. And then they will take that back and accept your ballot. So obviously it's election day. We don't have a lot of time for you in theory to be mailed a cure letter. You can arrange to pick it up, but the bonus here is that you have until November 18 to submit that cure letter. So if there's a question about your ballot and they wanna compare your signature, you have until the 18th. So the other interesting wrinkle in terms of who is, is working with the ballots, we have the National Guard helping out. We now have, it's gone up since what it was last week. I think now 370 National Guards people are in 19 counties helping to process the ballots. And that means checking signatures, removing the flaps, opening the envelopes, preparing them in the piles that go into the machine to do the actual counting. So interesting. Uh, still lots of folks asking about uh, counting ballots and when they'll be counted. Uh, did any New Jersey counties or did they all kind of get a head start in counting the mail-in ballots before today? There were a couple that said, we don't think we need the time. Hunterdon in particular, and there, there were a couple of others. Um, uh, it's escaping me which ones right now. But I think they felt, you know, they might be smaller counties. They thought they had enough workers um, to help. So it's a combination of Board of Election officials, the National Guard helping, and then people who come in and they hire um, to help specifically for the election. And everyone seems to feel that they were, they were well staffed. And just to backtrack a little bit, Karen, when will provisional ballots be counted? Sure. So provisional ballots are the ballots that you cast in person, not the mail-ins that you hand in, but the ones where you actually fill them out while you're there. Those are called provisional ballots because we only have disabled people able to use machines. So if somebody shows up in person, they cast a provisional ballot. The provisional ballots cannot be counted until all the mail-in ballots are counted. So as we said before, the election officials can accept mail-in ballots with a proper postmark up until November 10th at 8 p.m. So at 8.01 p.m., if all the mail-ins have been counted in that county, then they will start to count the provisionals. Or it could be a day or two later, depending on the volume. So we know the polls close tonight at 8 p.m. in New Jersey. What's going to happen if people are, say, still waiting online, still pulling into the parking lot to drop off their ballot in a ballot box? So what, what they have told me is that if you are waiting in line at eight o'clock and it's just busy, they will stay open until every last person online votes. If there is a line at a ballot box, I'm told that while people will be there with the keys to lock up that box and take away the votes, anybody who is online, they will let vote. Now, if you're flying into the parking lot and you see that there are people there, I mean, really it's gonna depend on the county officials. I think that they're more likely to say, sure, you know, you arrived, we haven't closed it up yet, but if they start walking away with a locked ballot box, it's possible that they say to you, sorry, it's too late. And in the primary, the number one reason for rejections of ballots was that they were too late. Uh, the ballot tracker, our favorite thing. Some folks saying uh, they're seeing that their ballot is registered, but not yet accepted online. What's and the deal here, Karen? Should they be worried? don't be worried. None of the ballots will say rejected or accepted. It will only say received. And this is because they're not permitted to say that a ballot has been accepted or rejected until again, that November 18th deadline. And the reason that's important, say some ballots had a signature problem and they sent out those cure letters. You have until November 18th to, um, to give them that information to get your ballot fixed. So they're not putting in the system, let's say you had a signature problem. They're not saying your ballot was rejected because it hasn't actually been rejected yet. You still have until the 18th. And I get that this is frustrating and it's something that I would love to see them find a way to change. Um, but you can't blame your election officials. They're just following the law. So we need the legislature to make changes if we want to see something like that happen. But, Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, and if you're really concerned, call your board of elections. Obviously, they're a little bit swamped tonight. But in the days to come, and again, you have until November 18th if it was a signature problem. So try them. I know people have had trouble getting through on the phone, but I think it's going to calm down a little bit after today. Definitely want to end this on a high note this evening and go back to how many people already submitted their ballots 
today. It's phenomenal. So we've got more than 3.7 million as of two o'clock today, but that was only mail-in ballots that were sent in prior. That does not count mail-in ballots that were hand delivered today. It does not count provisional ballots of people who who um, who did their vote at a polling place today. So it it's putting us very close to what we voted in 2016, the number of you know the turnout. But once you throw in those provisional ballots and the mail-in ballots that were hand delivered today, I'm sure we are well beyond the 2016. We just don't have the official numbers yet, but it's going to be higher turnout for for this election. And where I was in Monmouth County today at the Board of Elections, it was a constant stream of people in and out, two and three at a time, ballot box or actually going inside to hand off their ballot in person. Uh, no line, but there were quite a few people dropping off today on election. And, you know, hey, we're all procrastinators sometimes, right? So <laughs> I get that, I do get that. And even for me, because we've been doing these, um, Facebook live sessions, I'd been using my ballot as a prop. I didn't hand in my ballot until last <laughs> night when I drove it to my ballot box and I was a bearer for my daughter and for my husband. I dropped off my three ballots and had a nice conversation with some different voters at, at you know, it, it was even then a constant stream of people going through. Absolutely. But you voted. That's the most yeah. important thing. I hope you all voted and you have until eight o'clock tonight. It's yep. not over yet. Get Absolutely. out. Vote. All right, gonna be an interesting next couple of days, Karin. Thank you so much. Indeed. <laughs> and for more information on the election, you can head to nj.com nj backslash politics. We'll also be posting updates, of course, here on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Get out there and vote and have a good night.